it seems to me that they kind of sandbagged him. That while York clearly wants him to be the, the, the quarterback next year, and maybe Kyle does too, um, they did not want him to play this year. And they never really gave him a chance. I mean, for example, uh, when he does play, he's a running back. He's not allowed to hand off. Elijah Mitchell's out. When he plays, he's the running back. And he's not using the Niners. He's not really in the Niners offense. So the only perception that creates is he's not even ready. He's not even in Jimmy Garoppolo's ballpark. So in one sense, his unreadiness, which is hard to confirm because we're not at practice, serves to pump up Jimmy Garoppolo's trade value. It helps the plan for 2021. It gives Jimmy Garoppolo, not only is Jimmy playing well, but he's playing better than the third pick in the draft. He's good. The other thing is, uh, the plan for Trey Lance. It seems like there's a contingent in the organization that just doesn't want him to play, just doesn't want him to play, and that he was basically brought in here to wait around. What do you think? It's it's, it's certainly possible. Um, I'm just thinking of remember when the, when the report came came out like the Heat. He lost his confidence during the summer, and it was look like it was. He's looked really good. Then he's lost his confidence, and you know, it, that's kind of sh- it's strange because this a guy who turned down D one D one scholarships at at school right. so that he could play quarterback. Right. So basically, put it on himself to play quarterback. Then won a national championship at that school. Then turned himself right. to the number three overall. Pick and right. draft. Lost confidence. Does that not seem like a guy that would camp. be confident? Yeah. yeah. And actually, he was out playing. Jimmy Garoppolo is on a pick a day. Trey Lance is holding his own, and he lost confidence. So, it looked, yeah. again, it looked like the plan was for Trey Lance to be the quarterback of this team, just not year, not this year. And during this year, the plan wasn't to develop him. The plan was to make him look – make have him make Jimmy look good. So, when – when Trey Lance plays, he doesn't even get to run the real offense because he's not ready like Jimmy. And then and then recently, he doesn't even get to play anymore. Like, forget all that. We're going to bring you in in, right. uh, in the red zone or we're going to give you a package of plays. Forget all that. That's only making Jimmy look worse. The implication is, well, Jimmy can't – Jimmy's not even a starting quarterback. He's a part-timer. He has to, he has to share t- – it's, it's all about making Jimmy look better than he is right now. So that's why the plan for Trey Lance is to – make Jimmy look good this year and then to play next year. I don't know if that's the best way to develop a quarterback, but that's the plan. Make Jimmy look good first. And if you do a good job of that, then you can play next year, but it all depends on if we can get that second round pick. So dude, you need to go out there and be unready. Be not ready. Be be not ready. Be bad. Make Jimmy look good. So when Jimmy throws a pick, you throw two. The, it seems like to me, the priorities are backwards. It should be, it should be Lance should be the, the top priority. And then and then after that, whatever you can get out of Jimmy. You, you know why he's not, though? Sunk cost fallacy. Sunk cost fallacy. The Niners traded a two for Jimmy Garoppolo. You can't trade him for a three. You lost. The Niners spent $100 million on Jimmy Garoppolo. You can't just get rid of him after 35 starts. You didn't get enough. we got to play him one more year. Let's get a little more bang for our buck, and maybe we'll get that second-round pick back. And then we'll just chalk up all the $100 million that we gave him to, you know, you know, service. Time, service paid. No, you know, it's cost of doing business. That's sunk cost fallacy. It's what they're doing. Wait, but but the thing is, you can get that value. You don't have to get the value back with, with said player. You can get it. It's like the stock market, right? If, if something's tanking, don't hang on to it and, and be like, oh, we got, we got to wait for it to come back. and Sell it now and put your money in another stock and then get your money back that way. So- Which is what they did in the freaking draft. And then all of a sudden they're like, wait, no, wait, 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 we want that stock back. We want that stock back. Hold on. Like, it's not going to go up. It's right. Not- it's not like where you got to look at other places where you can get back. <laughs> can you get somebody to just, can you get somebody to give you two first rounds for first round picks for Debo? Like, I mean, can you? Yeah, you got to get creative here because this ain't it. Trying to get, trying to squeeze a, a two out of a three is not going to happen. <laughs>